everybody, Death Stalker here. So, another MotoGP race in the books and another little bit of drama. Now, if you saw the race, you would have seen, uh, as everyone's going into the first corner, Jorge Lorenzo went a little bit wide and it looked like he got on the gas and uh, high side and crashed his Ducati out. And he came out and blamed the crash on Mark Marquez. And he said, Mark blocked his path, and because of that, he ran wide and, and crashed. Now, we're going to talk a bit about that. Now, basically, the place that you are going to crash in a race, any race, any type of race, is usually the first corner of the first lap. As soon as the green uh, lights come on, or the red lights go off, whatever they got. And, uh... As usual, everyone was blasting in there, and Mark got a really good launch, and he got uh, ahead of Jorge and uh, Dobby, but unfortunately on his way in, he said he uh, locked his front brake, and he ended up having to drift wide and let off the brake. And he did uh, he did run over in the green zone, and uh, you know ended up having a Dobby pass him back and get, get into the lead. Well, Jorge was behind him, and he made the decision not to uh, drift wide because he was afraid of losing too many places. And it's really interesting to watch the video, but you can actually see his bike lay down a big black stripe. And then all of a sudden, it uh, flipped him off and he ended up landing down, dislocated his, his uh, big toe and breaking a bone in his foot. Now, uh, you know, people were thinking, well, he got on the gas. When you actually, they watched the replay and you could actually, from the on-bike camera, you could see he actually wasn't on the gas. So you wonder, well, how the heck could he crash? So right before the Mo MotoGP race was uh, a Moto2 race. Now the Moto2 race guys, they used Dunlop rubber. And for the last couple years, the uh, MotoGP guys who are on Michelin's have been complaining about how when they come in after a, a Moto2 race, the track is, all uh, greasy and slimy for them because uh, their bikes don't like hitting uh, asphalt with Dunlop rubber on it. Well, the other thing you get is, as a race progresses, you get what's called marbles, which are little balls of rubber that come off the bikes and end up getting flung out the outside of the track. Now, Jorge called it the dirty section of track, is what they call it, but in North America, we just call it riding out where the marbles are. And when you hit that, it is, literally like just riding into some fine sand on, a, on an asphalt surface. Your bike slides and you just sort of pray and hope that it hooks back up again. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And when Jorge drifted on that, he was in trouble and he didn't let on the, he didn't let on the gas. But the bike even on idle is producing power and they actually dial in traction control for these bikes and the traction control system is pretty sophisticated. They can actually dialed in different traction control and braking control or engine braking control for every single corner. And on that particular corner, it's a pretty fast corner. And the traction control would work really well if you were on, uh, you know, the regular racing line. But Mark, Jorge, pretty well known was on the racing line for that first corner. So when uh, Jorge leaned the bike over, even though the bike wasn't, you know, at, at hard at throttle, it lost traction and the traction control couldn't make up for it. So that's why you see this sudden black line appearing behind the bike and then all of a sudden it just hooks up and spits him over the bars, trying to send him to the moon. So that's the, the uh, mechanical reason or electronic reason why he crashed. But the main reason he crashed was he decided he didn't want to give up any points, or sorry, any places in, in the lead on the first corner of a 20-something lap race, and he just leaned the bike over, figuring he could make it. And of course, it didn't work. Now, Mark, if you look at him, he ran wide and kept his bike up pretty straight, and then once he got back on the track, he stepped, he twisted the throttle and basically took off. Now, Jorge was trying to say Mark blocked past him, which is a type of passing maneuver that's been around for 
uh, I think since the first race ever happened. And Jorge is like saying, it sh should be a gentleman's agreement that, that that won't happen. Well, in racing, gentleman agreements usually last till like 30 feet before the first corner. And uh, the yeah, whole idea of that was gonna, you know, be banned or outlawed or whatever, is it was just laughable. And of course, everybody, including people who were uh, Jorge Lorenzo fans, were just totally making fun of him. And there was actually some pretty good, uh, memes out there for Blaine Marquez and if I can find a couple of them I'll put them up here for you to see but uh, eventually what happened was uh, you know Mark phoned uh, Jorge to see how he was doing after his uh, his crash and wished him well and hoped to see him in Thailand and I guess they talked and whatever anyways Jorge is now now okay with Mark it'll be interesting to see what happens in uh, another week when they have the race in Thailand you know, they'll probably, it'll probably definitely be brought up in the press conference, so we'll see. But uh, it was uh, a lot of drama for basically that was a non-event. Like race control didn't even, like normally when something happens that's questionable, race control says, you know, race control investigating. Well, nothing. Because they looked at it as a racing incident, rider error, mechanical error, whatever. Not a, nothing to be done about it. And you know they actually keep an eye on Mark because uh, he's had uh, issues before with other riders. So the one thing the MotoGP uh, organizers are not going to do is let him get away with too much anymore. So anyways, uh, I'll uh, leave a bunch of links in the, in the description to some of the videos and some of the comments made and whatnot. So you can actually see, see them yourself. Hope you enjoyed it. Death Stalker.